Hey guys, Crispy here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a favorites video. First thing I want to talk about is this highlighter from Becca Cosmetics. This is the Jaclyn Hill highlighter. This is in the color Champagne Pop. I'm wearing it right here on my nose and on my cheekbones. I guess I could use a little more. I've never been one of those people who was lucky enough to get, what is that? What was that highlighter that everybody uses? Whisper of guilt. So I've been searching my whole life for a highlighter that's like buttery and makes your skin look like dewy. So I really, really love this highlighter and I think you guys would like it. All right, so um, I have blue hair. This is a wig and I'm having some trouble hiding it up here. This is a full lace wig. I kind of hit it over here. And... Oh, this is a wig from Virgin Hair Fantasy. You just like clip it on. It's super easy. So um, I want to get your guys' suggestions on what you think I should name this one. Not Naomi, because I already have one name, named Naomi. And I already have one named Cynthia. But like, keep it in code, all right? You don't need to be going on Instagram and be like, I think you should name your wig, blah, blah, blah. Be like, Cynthia. Or just like put the name or whatever it should be. So the next favorite on my list, I actually don't like the name Flake Away because I, that's like gross, gives me a gross visual, I don't like that. Soap and Glory, it's like a salt scrub exfoliator and it smells bomb.com. I hate the like salt and sugar scrubs that right when you put it on and like rub it in, it just like dissolves right away and doesn't do its job. This one is really good. You can really like get in there and exfoliate. So wanted to mention this one. The next favorite on my list is this Shampoo Seco <laughs> Dry Shampoo from Octavio. This is my new favorite hair care line. Um, the dry shampoo smells really nice. I am a big fan of dry shampoo because then you don't have to wash your hair as often and then it's less damaged and it grows more. This one is nice, it smells good and I've also been using the shampoo and conditioner for this one. So make sure you check it out, I'll leave a link below. So next up on my list is a uh, these new eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. And this is in a Z palette. I don't know why all of the eyeshadows are always in Z Okay, here's my qualm about Z palette. Like, look. Why do they make it like they don't fit? I don't get it. Estoy confused. Like, does Z palette, are they, is this like a patent or something? Does anybody know? Should I Google that? Anyways, if you guys aren't familiar with Makeup Geek, I love her eyeshadows. They're some of my favorite eyeshadows, and they're all super pigmented and really shimmery, so I'll do some fun, colorful looks with these ones for you. Okay, so next up on my list is ColourPop Matte uh, Liquid Lipsticks. I love liquid lipsticks because technically you don't really have to wear a liner with them because they're, it'll give you like a super defined lip. So this one is called Trap. So this one is a great uh, replacement for cashmere since you can't wear cashmere on social media without getting bashed by the masses. One time I wore, um, okay, I was wearing cashmere. All right, I'm gonna admit it. I was wearing cashmere because no, oh, it was an old picture. And sometimes I don't take a picture every single day for the gram. It was an old picture and the liquid lipstick, it could have been anything, but they knew it was cashmere and they attacked me for supporting Lime Crime. I, I don't wanna talk about it. Next up on my list are these highlighters from Anastasia. So this one is So Hollywood and this one has like a gold undertone. This one is Riviera and this is more like rose goldy. And this one is called Starlight, and this one is a really, really light, like, pearl color. You could use it, well, any of these you could use on the eyes or any part of the face, and I just got a text message. My mom just said, hello, my sweet. That's cute. <laughs> so next up on my list is this uh, diffuser from doTERRA. I really like putting lavender in this and putting it on when I go to sleep. When I was sick, I put, like, peppermint and, like, eucalyptus, and what else did I? I don't know, some other oils that I can't remember. And it was like really good for my breathing. Also, you can ingest the essential oils. <laughs> so I put like a bunch of them in water, like lemon, peppermint, some weird Frankenstein one, and like rosemary, and that shit was crazy tasting. But I think it helped me. Like I woke up the next day, it felt better. I will leave a link down below for this guy and for where I got all of the oils. All right, I also just wanted to mention Opinion Outpost. I've talked about it before on my channel, but I just wanted to mention it again. It's basically a website where you go on and give your opinions about stuff. So I don't know if you guys do that on Yelp. I have intentions to all the time. I'm always like, I'm gonna give this a bad review on Yelp. 
and then I never do. Oh yeah, so you can go on and give your opinions on whatever, food, politics, movies, TV, anything, and you get paid for giving your opinions. So you can get paid in like Amazon gift cards, um, iTunes gift cards, and even cash. So they gave me a link to give to all my subscribers, so I will leave that down below. Okay, uh, last but not least, my favorite that I wanna mention is this company called Time Los Angeles. I was actually wearing it in the beginning of filming, but I felt like I looked a little. So I changed it into this one. It's a really cute like t-shirt line and they also have really cute pillows if you have like a makeup room, if you're one of those people who are for, who actually, who am I talking, who has a makeup room? Aside from all the YouTubers. I'm not one of those people. And I, I'm not bitter, you know? <laughs> okay, current events. Let's talk about the BET Awards that I didn't watch, but I watched them on social media. Um, I think Cruci looked bomb.com. Her hair was so cute. Do you guys agree, disagree? That was definitely a wig. But my favorite of the night was Black China and Amber Rose. They were dates. They did it to celebrate same-sex marriage. And I always think China looks so cute when her hair is short like that. I love her. She's a babe. All right, you guys, so that was the whole video. Hope you liked it. Give me thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. All right, you guys, so thank you for watching. Yeah! Ah! <laughs>